Friday. I'm ready for work. My makeup's done, my hair's done, and my outfit's on. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so I have to be completely honest, like transparent. Um, it looks like I got up, it looks like I did my makeup, it looks like I got my shit together on a Friday and I'm not rushing out the door. I am in fact rushing out the door, but I got up early for only one reason. I set an alert because I've been following um, this girl on Instagram, her name's Girl Scout, or that's like her username. She makes the dopest, coolest like apparel, merch. I've always wanted stuff. I always miss her launches. I always miss her restocks. Everything's always sold out, which is like an awesome thing. I'm happy for her and that's what I want for these small businesses, but I want stuff from them too. So I set an alarm and I made sure I was ready to go. I got the two things that I've been eyeing up. So I'm happy, I'm content, but now I'm rushing to work. And we're off to work. Okay, I'm finally home from work. This was the longest day ever. And I only had one client, but I felt like I was never getting done or whatever. But I'm finally home. I'm hungry. I could make dinner or I can wait for Kurt and maybe we'll order something or go out. I kind of want to change out of this because it's chilly and I'm cold, but at least I'm home. One more day, I have Saturday and I'm getting tattooed tomorrow morning, so I'll be up early. And then I have my own clients that I have to tattoo. But then it's the weekend and I'm excited for the weekend. I love the weekend. like 10 o'clock in the morning, this is insane. But I'm actually getting tattooed by Sage. So I'm here, I'm settling in, and I'm waiting for her to draw the stencil, put the stencil on, and then we'll get started. Today was a pretty cool day. I got tattooed by Sage, which wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I usually do well on my leg when I get a tattoo, but I don't know, I got nervous. I thought it was gonna hurt and it wasn't that bad. I then had to work myself, finished work, and now I'm actually here at my dad's. I haven't been to my dad's in a while. And I know that's strange because we're inseparable. I usually go down the shore every weekend, but since we haven't been going down the shore, he invited me over for some dinner and a movie, so. That's my exciting Saturday night, but at least I get to catch up with him and Lisa because I feel like I haven't seen them in forever. And I really like hanging out with them. They're like my favorite people. So I was excited when he invited me. Who it is? Hello, I'm here. Don't bite me. <laughs> I thought you liked it. I just got back from my dad's. Um, I stayed a little bit. We watched, I don't know, some stand up, but he bleached his shirt or did something to his shirt 
So now I'm sitting here trying to, let me show you, I'm trying to fix this spot that's on his shirt with some dye that I mixed up in this cup. So my thoughts are that if I take a little bit of this color and try to saturate that stain, maybe I can make it match the shirt. If not, I have to dye the entire shirt. I'm trying to avoid dyeing the whole shirt, but I think in order to get this bleach spot to cover, I'm gonna have to dye the entire shirt this color green, which is pretty close to the green on his shirt. Maybe I'll keep you updated, I'm not sure. Maybe you'll see him wearing the shirt. I can't promise that either. But either way, I'm gonna sit here and try to work on this. It's Sunday morning and we're headed off in this gloomy, yucky day. It's not yucky yet, it's supposed to rain and I'm kind of pissed off about that. But we're gonna head out and I think our first stop is gonna be the Berlin Mart or, or maybe Duncan. Uh, Duncan. Yeah, what are you thinking? Duncan. <laughs> Duncan's the first stop, I'm sorry. Then the Berlin Mart. I also really want to go to that H Mart, but I don't know, it's kind of far from this location. But I want to go to like all the marts today. It'll just be a day of marts. Kmart. No, they're closed. Damn. <laughs> so. left the Berlin Mart. I was a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, but it, it could be because it started to rain a little bit and then everybody rushed inside. But now we've made it to the second Mart of the day. We're at H Mart. I have been super excited about this. I have never been here. I think in the last week I've heard like four or five people mention it to me. I hope I find things, dif like different things that I've been looking for that I can't find in our regular supermarket. I don't know, I'm just really excited, but I often get myself excited and then I'm quickly disappointed when I can't find anything I'm looking for. So I'm trying to keep the spirits high here. We just went into Moe's to pick up some lunch, or actually to go eat lunch, but apparently you can't eat inside. I don't understand why this is still a thing, but we're gonna eat some lunch in the car, um, finish our errands, and then probably head home. But yeah, back to eating in the car, it's still a thing. started making the soup. Well, Kurt started making the soup. I want to help him make the soup or maybe just film him making the soup and then eat the soup.
finished dinner and we got this lychee, leche? I'm not really even sure how you say it. No, 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 no. Kurt's saying that's not what it is. The sign said that, unless I read it wrong. I'm not sure what these things are, but we got them today at the Asian Mart and we're gonna see what they're like. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'm gonna try it. It smells sweet. We'll have to look up what this actually is, but this is what it started out as, and this is what's inside. It just tastes like a grape with a big seed in it. I don't think this is like lychee, or lychee, or whatever you call it. It's good, it's sweet, but. Yeah, but like a not, like a, like a not sweet grape. But not like sour, not like a bad grape, but like. Like bland? Yeah, just like a, a grape that has not a lot of flavor. It's too much work for it just to taste like a grape, is what I'm saying. Okay, so I looked it up, and it is a lychee. It's hard to see, you can't tell, but that's exactly what we bought. And then that's the fruit inside. See this thing? In this weird shell thing. So we were right in the name. I don't know if we're right about like if it's ripe enough, if we even should be eating it now. I just know I wanted to try one and we did. Monday is super lazy. I think it's because the weather outside is kind of gross. It's not raining, but it looks like it's gonna rain. It's very gloomy, very cloudy. I guess this is like true October weather, but this is what I'm wearing. I just have on this two-piece sweatsuit in my boots. Okay, it's Tuesday morning. We were super, super lazy yesterday, kind of just lounging around hanging around. We did nothing. I'm trying to sugarcoat it. We've done nothing yesterday. So, not usually what I do on the vlog, but I figured I would vlog some of my Tuesday since I'm headed to work and then we're actually gonna head to the Slipknot concert. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and jazz up this vlog a little bit since we were super lazy yesterday. got home from work. I changed really quickly. I freshened up my hair. I did my makeup. I put on a black little cropped tank top. I also have on black jeans and my boots. I need to put on a jacket or a sweatshirt because it's cold out. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I have like five more minutes until Kirk gets home and I need to be ready. I need to show him that I can be on time. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I put on this corduroy, like oversized jacket on with this. So this should keep me warm. I think this is good enough. I'm ready, I'm done. Now it's time to go to the concert.
just left the Slipknot concert. It was insane, but I think it's time to end the vlog. Okay, gotta go. Bye.